All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you gotta think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's gonna do. His striking is world-class, his ground game is excellent, and he mixes them up very well. So here he is, the Black Beast, Houston's finest, Derek Lewis. He has vaulted the UFC superstardom, certainly has the personality to go with the power, strong as an ox, excellent takedown defense, more condition than you might think. He is on a mission to become the baddest man on the planet, Joe. This guy has devastating one-punch knockout power amongst the very best in the world at delivering a single blow to end the fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 32. Lewis weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 252 pounds, fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Big Man. And now he's producing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaku. And Here you go, first round, you ready? You ready? Well, Houston, Texas has been a huge market for the UFC of late, and no surprise, we are back and now underway here from Toyota Center in the H-Town. One-two punch by the Black Beast. Misses with that punch. Caught him with a punch. Throwing heat now. Oh! Nice. Oh! oh. He's, He's got hurt here. Oh! Big left. Look at this. Take down. Moves into north south. Big body, body shot. shot there too. Full mouse. Very nicely done. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Look out for the arm. Look out for the arm. He's in full mount here, and he's looking for the arm bar. What he wants to do is, first thing he wants to do is secure the arm, tie it up. Then he wants to scoot his hips forward, rotate the hips, and he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. Full guard here. Trying to spin to the back. He's working from his back now. He's flattened him out. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. 
Another shot lands upstairs. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something the Bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Oh, both men exchange. Under three minutes to go in round one. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lewis. Good left hand. He's taking some shots now. Using his jab effectively here, Joe. He's doing a really good job of timing his shots and landing a good series of strikes here. Hammers. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice kick to the midsection. Here. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice uppercut. 90 seconds remain in the round. Hit him oh, the hard with that there. hook. That one had some steam this on is it. crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're working from the clinch once more. The left hook hits home. Oh, he's got the over under. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. He's got the over-under here. Lewis gets double underhooks, not good for the opposition here. Spins around, gets the back. Oh, and he lands another takedown there. He's only landed several in the fight and really doing a great job with these takedowns, not telegraphing his shot. Back to the canvas now here. Jab. Oh, beautiful, beautiful oh. kick to the body. Oh. He's got him right here. Big he body shot, body. Oh, he might be out. What a wild exchange. Oh. 15 seconds to go. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. Oh, big left hand there. knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Wow, Joe Rogan, you know, we see fighters all the time go for a takedown late in the round, but you don't see that every day. The flush knockout just before the final horn, the referee wisely jumping in to stop the fight. Gorgeous technique and a great job to catch the other guy when maybe he was thinking about the end of the round. Now he doesn't see it. Instead, he's staring up at the bright lights. Great angle here. Boom! And that is all she wrote. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Mari Yamasaki is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on, not just here, but in Houston, Texas, and beyond for the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. You know, few heavyweights have been as active, and few have been as effective as Lewis, dating to his UFC debut back in 2014. So Derek Lewis continues to pile up the UFC wins, and he adds to that total here tonight.